a transfer of rulership is coming and the kingdom of heaven will be on earth righteousness will be spread throughout the whole four corners of the earth wickedness will be put down the Lord is going to put us back in our land, man, through Yahweh Shai. We're going to be sovereign. We're going to rule. We're going to win. We're going to have everything in abundance, man. Our hearts desire, and our enemies will be our footstool. Isaiah 14. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land. And the stranger shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them, and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow, and from thy fear, and from the hard bondage wherein thou wast made to serve. When we come down now, we can say this. Them people, when we come back to Earth, as the X-Men, Marvel comic, DC comic men, the Thanos is, and the Kalels, and so forth, when we come back down with superhuman, extraterrestrial, celestial bodies, they may attempt to fight us, like we're aliens. And we're gonna kick much ass, and we're gonna have fun kicking the ass. I'm talking about the people around the world. That's what it's meant by the saints of the most high, the Israelites, starting with the men, will take the kingdom. But the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Exodus 3 All right, <clears throat> Shalom. First and foremost, we would like to give all praise on and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh, Bahashem Kakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to each other brothers. And peace and blessing, salutation, hopefully, God, they're pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh. Pushing to get up out of here, shalom on to the hopeful leg that believers, the listeners who have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh by Shema Al Shah. And what I want to, so like it, what we want to get into today, all right, with GMS Mississippi Camp coming back with another weekly lesson. And we're going into, you know, the memorial of the blowing of trumpet, all right, which is sundown, you know, today, you know, until tomorrow. Okay, and just to give a little backdrop, okay, on that uh, high holy day, um, you go to Leviticus 23 and 24 and say, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, you know, so today, being the new moon, will be the first day of a new month, okay? So, by the Hebrew calendar, you know, um, this will be the first day of the seventh month, okay, you know, and just us going in the spirit. All right, which we know time is off, you know, but I believe, you know, that the spirit is, is guiding, you know, the leadership when it comes to putting these calendars, you know, together because, you know, the way that the holy days are falling, okay, now they're uh, uh, lining up, okay, with these wicked, all right, holidays of the devil, 
okay and ultimately you know this is us crossing them out you know you have the uh you know this is your how about shima outside crossing the devils out okay and we're just vessels you know being used to blow the trumpet okay because you had that uh the eclipse that came in april i believe it was april you know that they, they, they came across all right uh america and when you go into the path that the eclipse took in 2017 those two paths you know make a cross or x you know or a, a, a thought that you know that thought character okay in the uh hebrew okay crossing this place out okay and then you have these our, our hot holy days are starting to fall on these wicked holidays of the devil you know you had the um last time the new moon came in the weekend of the fourth of july this time the new moon you know comes in on uh the, the night the evening of um of, of labor day okay and you have the day of atonement which is to be on 9 11 you know which you know there was the uh the fall of the towers so we can see the spirit you know is crossing this place out okay so um, just reading this again, Leviticus 23, 24 says, Speaking to the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall you have a Sabbath, a memorial of blowing trumpets and holy convocation. You shall do no civil work therein, but you shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashem al Shah. Okay? So there was a, a high holy day. Now we do these things in the spirit okay the prophets prophesied you know going to the trump okay so we're just gonna get a few precepts going into that all right and um lord will you brothers and you sisters are edified did y'all brothers have uh anything that y'all want to give <clears throat> it was not i got a few well bro you can start um, off in all of a slot no, you got what you got, bro. Now you can start off in um the book of um Habakkuk. Habakkuk. Habakkuk two. All right. Um, Habakkuk two and one. Come. All right, you got. It. Let me see. All right, this is the book of Habakkuk, chapter two, verse one. It says, "I will stand upon my watch and sit." me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what i shall answer when i am approved and the lord answered me and said like a vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run and read it for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie no terry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tear yeah so here it is we we're still standing upon our watch you know it's the old watchman is the uh coming back lord willing as a, you know uh as a prophet in the spirit of a prophet continuing to warn our people you know though we're not physically standing on towers but we can see we can we can measure the time you know with the uh with the prophecies that's coming to pass you know via via the internet and um you know with with, with our you know access to basically um through through the satellites you know so we basically again blowing the trumpet again continue to you know to warn our people blowing that trumpet you know you know instead of you know we we're not blowing through the ram's horns and all but we are again we blowing through that you know that line of the internet you know warning our people let them know hey hey yahweh shah is coming continually continually every day by day yahweh shah is coming same message yahweh shah is coming you know up until yahweh shah remove um his prophets and he actually physically uh, entered into this realm. I got a quick one for you, bro. Hold on. Mm -mm. This is, I said, you can break it down, bro. This is Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice. <laughs> you see, just going to your point. Like the trumpet. And show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sins. Yeah, and this is what we do. See, we, we're not 
we're not standing stagnant or we're not holding back what we, you know, what's, what's been given to us to basically get a people. You know, the Lord tells us to cry aloud, show our people their transgressions. And this is what we basically, this is a job. See, we right now we are in our uh, labors. You know, we, you know, we came we into the labors of the apostles, but we are working for you, Shah, to show our people um, where they're going off. So when he comes, hey, there won't be an excuse. And it's, it's all all is really is to basically uh, seal the elect, you know, just to seal the elect for the coming of your Shah. you know, preparing the bride. Uh, uh, you know, beating them to the marriage, and this is this is basically what we're doing. Um, and uh, I got another one because Isaiah trumpet, you know, was it was an alarm. Mm. You know, here it is as the scriptures speak about. You know, which I get there real quick in Matthew, how we're coming into the worst time ever. Mm. You know, uh, uh Matthew twenty four. And then Matthew 24, the scriptures, you know, speak about the times that we in now, because everything in Matthew 24 pretty much happened, you know, it's, um, it's not, you know, reached its match. His, it, it has not reached the peak, but these things, all these things are building up, the pestilence, the earthquakes, the um, kingdom against kingdom, okay, all these things are building up. To the worst time ever all right so real quick matthew 24 and 21 for there shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be so if we're coming into the worst time the lord is raised up his prophets okay to blow their trumpet of a warning you know like they hear these lessons and in their mind you know, they think that this is a result of what's being angry, you know, black men in America. No, this is a warning from Yahweh by Shema Shai. Okay? The, the anger that we do have is the, is the anger, you know, that the spirit put on us, man. What you got, bro? Yeah, yeah, because because Yahweh Shai is coming back in his wrath. You know, so mm -hmm. we basically just warning you so you could be shielded, you know, you could you could be basically, you know, covered. From your house size indignation, you have about some your size indignation, man. You know, we got another one, yeah. You got it, bro. You got it, yeah. I'm gonna say, yeah, it is a it is an anger, it's an angry spirit, but at the same time, it's a um, it's a it's a uh, spirit of uh calmness that we're throwing out there for the elect, but for the for the mm -hmm. rest of the world, it's this shit, it's, it's like hey, prepare to meet your maker, man, you know. Pre Hey, prepare for prepare for doom because hey, Yahweh Shai ain't coming. He ain't coming back as a um to bring peace. He's coming back as a thief in the night, and he's coming to he's coming to basically bring destruction and to take these people out of their comfortability. You know, you know, as the scripture we're going to, I mean, you know how we're um, going to let. Yeah. Come on, bro. Hey, I got one. What you got, bro? Jeremiah six, so sixteen, and uh, go down to. Uh, let me see. Uh, 19. All right, Jeremiah 6 and 16. It said, Thus said the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old path where is the good way and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. Also, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, you got, bro. And that's the thing about it. That's what we're doing. Basically, we're going weekend, we go out there on weekend, we got. Uh, on the highways and byways, and uh, we do videos every day. Most of everybody do video every day, right? And basically, we're trying to get our people to come back to your house by some shot. All right, we see that's your trip, just say seek the old path. All right, but go ahead, bro. Verse uh, 17 it says, Also, I said, Watchmen over you, saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet, but they said, We will not hearken, therefore. Hear ye nations and know, O congregation, what is among them. See, hear, See? O earth. Oh, you got it. Okay. I, and that's the verse 17 said, I was just watching over you, saying, hawking. And that, that's what we're doing. We tell, we're trying to get our people to hawk to your house about your shop. But what they say, they, they, they basically they're going to do what the fuck they want to do. That's all the time with our people. They want to do what the fuck they want to do, man. All right, go ahead. Yep. Um, verse. 19 here oh earth behold 
I will bring evil upon this people, even the first fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened to my words nor to my law, but rejected it. Hey, mm. that's what's going down. That's gonna happen to these our people, man. Lost he gonna bring evil upon them, man. Cause what? They're not hawking. They're not listening. They, they, they're not taking heed. <clears throat> so, so when we Lord bring that bring the, the Jacob trouble, when you use Esau to bring all the heat to his people, it, it could be too late though. Oh, oh, uh, damn, that it's over there. Too late for that. Cause they're not hawking. They're not trying to get right. I they brush all I got on that one, bro. Yeah, because just improve. Just expound on what you're saying, like in the ancient world, let's say you was outside of the walls, and those watchmen, you know, would see, you know, intruders or some type of danger coming, okay, and they would blow their trumpet. Well, if you be yesing, okay, and you don't get it back within the walls, if you get caught out there, that's on you, you know. So our people, they're going to be outside of the wall. Or the protection of Yahweh by Shema Al Shai. As the scriptures speak about us dwelling in the habitation of the Most High. Because we made the Lord our, 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 our dwelling place, man. Okay? So if you're dwelling on the outside of these walls, and when Esau rolled, when, when, when judgment opens up, because you ignored the trumpet, because you, you know, you were doing your thing, you know, you're going to be out there naked, man. It's going to be on you, you know? You had some, uh, Lamont? Uh, okay. We can get um, second Ezra chapter 6, verse 18. And then I would like to link it up with um, Malachi 4, verse 5. You said second Ezra chapter, chapter 6, verse 18. Okay. Okay. Um. Mm. This is second Ezra chapter six. All right, this you is second Ezra. You finna say something? Somebody finna say something? Y'all just saying, I think you typed in 16, bro. Huh? You, you said six yeah, eight, chapter, chapter six. six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chapter six. This is 18. Okay. Yeah, this is it. I had just uh okay. That was the verse I had clicked on. I know you said six. But it just give me, it just get me close to it. This is uh second Ezra six and eighteen. It said the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? And keep reading, bro. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, verse 18. Yeah. All right, this is verse 19 it says, Behold, famine and so plague. Like reverse, uh, 18. Re 18 again, okay. Yeah. It's uh, what, what, what I want a second, 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 Ezra's, yeah, this yeah, second, yeah, yeah. yeah you typed in you 16, said, bro. Six. Oh, okay, okay, I see what you were saying, okay, yeah, I did. Uh, I thought that was the verse I clicked on, so like, bro. I probably wasn't clear enough. No, nah, no, nah, I had I thought I would uh, put 16 for the verse. That was the chapter I put it for. That was the brother was telling me. I'm tripping. Yeah, it's all okay, good. Go, go. Okay, yeah. All right, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 18. It says, And it said, Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh. And to visit them that dwell upon the earth, and we begin to make right. inquisition of them. Okay, you got it. okay, and, and that's just like basically going to what brother talking about, man, about the warnings and everything. The warning again, you know, when the Lord brought forth uh Abba Bibbins, man, you know, Elijah the prophet, if you can receive it, you know, the trumpet started being blown. What was that, 1960? Mm -hmm. Start, you know, giving warning to our people. Sixty-nine, it's like to start giving warning to our people, to preach to our people, who about Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, telling our people that we're the Israelites to repent. You know that judgment is coming upon the earth. You know, 
tell them about who they are as a nation, you know, that we are the Lord's chosen people. Okay, that was the beginning of the trumpet being blown, man. And continue along, the warning started coming. That was getting more in depth, you know, from our teachers, our apostles, the elder bitches on down, brothers. You know, the warning is steady increasing. The trumpet being blown is getting louder and louder. You know, so it's no, it's going to be no excuse why people don't get it and don't hear it, man. Because by way of the internet, okay, the unicorn, okay, going out on the highways and byways. The, the, the Lord said that, you know, saying this word would go out throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay, then the end will come. Well, prophets are all over the globe. You're pretty much in every state, down there in every country, all over the internet. So this word is going out. This warning is being uh, uh, presented, man, on a worldwide scale. So the, the excuses are going to be, they're not going to be valid because the warning is out there, man. And it started decades ago. All right, bro, you give me uh, Malachi chapter 4, verse 5. Malachi 4 and 5. Huh? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, because like you said, bro, um, the, the, the trumpet is getting louder because, you know, things that, you know, were spoken on, you know, a few years ago, now they're actually happening. You know, uh, the least of the flock drawing them out with the small hats. Okay, the CBD uh, techn technology is becoming, you know, um, uh, more normalized. Okay, uh, the, the, the rumors of civil war and civil unrest are becoming more normalized. Okay. And like I say, uh, brothers, the Lord put the spirit on brothers to um, really, you know. Cause you know, once you play an instrument, you get kind of skilled with that instrument, you know. And that's why you right. see brothers are able to yeah. really go into what this devil is doing. You know, it's not just you know, it's telling a so-called white man the devil. Now we sh now the spirit has us going into why he's a devil, how he's being the devil. You know, so yeah, brothers have become skillful, you know, through the spirit and power. You how about him out shot? on their trumpet okay to uh uh play all right a uh, with, with detail man you know you said malachi four uh we started at one yeah chapter four verse at five. Oh, five. okay malachi chapter four verse five said behold i will send you elijah the prophet for the coming of the great and dreadful day of the lord and see and that that prophecy has been fulfilled man if you like to say if you can receive it that the business was elijah the prophet man okay he has already come on the scene that was the beginning of the trumpets being blown the lord said don't you once knew this i will bring you back to remembrance man and by the uh uh the elder of business coming back on the scene man israel has been stirred up man their pure minds are being stirred up and those who hear this word and it resonate with them, you know, they turn from the ways of wickedness, man. Okay. They, they are uh, cleansed to this word. They pursue this word and they seek to do the will you have by Shimei outside to the best of their ability, man. And Abaratza, we're those men who are not only called to do this work you have by Shimei outside, that we also be chosen, man. Okay. Because it said many are called, but few are chosen. But, you know, it's, it's, a every, it's an everyday fight, man. And a, and a part of the battle is is just keep pushing and doing the will you have by seeing me outside. And as a part of our our job, because this is a job, man, it's a three hundred sixty five day a year job, man. You know, to to do what's pleasing to the Lord. And one of those things is pleasing it to the Lord is to do His will and warn His people, as He said on many different occasions throughout the Scriptures, man. So give them warning from me. You know, speak to the ears of my people, you know, and it goes on and on because there's not going to be any excuses when it's all said and done, man. You know, and like the brothers are going into. The trumpet is steady being blown. The doors of uh, uh, mercy is still open. The doors of repentance is still open. But all these things from the time 
1969, when Elder Oliver Bill came on the scene to the present day in 2024, prophecies have man come to pass dramatically, man. And, and, and things are steady, steady happening. You got, you know, what I'm saying the uproars of the people, you know, the uh, love of many waxing cold. You got people who are just doing any and everything to fulfill their flesh. You know, you got alphabet communities, you know, anything that's um, considered righteous or good is now condemned and anything that's wicked and evil is uplifted. You know, the Lord said this man was going to turn everything upside down and we're witnessing it. We're seeing it. And what are we doing? We're prophesying via blowing the trumpet. Warn the people of these things that are happening has already been documented in the scriptures that the Lord said will come to pass before the end. And we're seeing things now that are more vivid showing that we're at the end of this thing, man. And not to mention that the Lord said before the father of the great kingdom, what he sent forth his prophets, man. So that's a, that's a sign of prophecy that's being fulfilled as we speak because the Lord have his prophets out there, man. So if people are going to stay plugged into the matrix and not want to hear this uh, word, this trumpet, this warning, or, no, or, or try to ignore it, being like that nigga Cypher, saying, I don't, I don't want to remember nothing, you know, just want to stay plugged in the world, then that's fine. But there's a judgment coming behind it. Whether you, when you hear this word, if you take heed or you just, you know, shish your hand and ignore it, it doesn't change anything. Like we always go into Romans 3 and 3. So what if some don't believe? Did the unbelief make the faith you have by seeing me outside without effect? You have to forbid that the most high be true with every man a liar. So how some be kept telling you that the MOTB is not the uh karagma, the grain of right size device, or whatever they saying, man. They a fucking liar. Cause when you read uh Revelation 3 and uh 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 Salaki, Revelation 13 verse 16, it clearly states when you look up the word that it's it's a it's a physical mark, man. And that prophecy is coming to pass, man. It's being, it's, it's, it's in the works as we speak. So at the end of the day, if you want to stick your fingers in your ears and try to ignore reality, then your judgment is going to be, it's going to be a righteous judgment. And no one's going to feel bad about it. Because we're finally doing a will you have by outside to the best of our ability that we may be found worthy, man, that the Lord won't forget our labor of love. That we will be accepted and receive those tongues as the red second Ezra, all right? You know, so we're standing upon our watch, we're blowing the trumpet, we're warning the people, therefore the blood won't be on our hands, man. That's all I got, bro. Bro, I'm gonna get a few of my to come in, boy, and then uh whatever else you brothers got. I just wanna get uh let's see, just the brother. GMS times a dot bun your howard 144k uh stones 91 and one it says he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty you know because as the prophets are blowing this trumpet you know singing this new song okay the elect are being pulled into the covering and the protection of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai you know when we repent you know, when we begin to uh, move in obedience, okay, when we come in order under this word through faith, you know, that's us coming into, all right, the protection of Yahweh by Shema Shah by obeying the trumpet because the trumpet is giving out instructions because you had a trumpet, you know, that will bring in the new moon, the trumpet that will, you know, be for uh, war or danger, a trumpet, you know, that will um, be for certain high holy days. Okay, so the trumpet was an instruction. The way it was blown, you know, it gave an instruction. And right now, you know, we're giving the, 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 the instructions of take cover, okay, because it's danger on the outside, you see? So the, the let will run into the tower, okay, or, or, or the fortress of Yahweh by Shema Shai when they will hear this trumpet, man, you know? Um... Let's see, there's another one I was going to get. Thought I seen. Mm. Yeah, this is Brother Naquan. All right. Um, Ezekiel 3 and 17 says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman 
unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. You know, because ultimately, everything that's about to happen, <clears throat> as we speak about, you know, the worst time, you know, ever, you know, is right here at the door. Well, the Lord going to be the driving force behind it. Because we're not telling you to fear Esau. We're telling you, okay, Esau is going to be used, okay, as, as, as judgment. And that judgment comes from Yahweh by Shema Oshai. So we're telling you to fear Yahweh by Shema Oshai. We're telling you about him and what he's going to do in the earth. Esau is just a, a weapon of choice, okay, for a moment, you know, before he's judged. <laughs> you see? Um, but that was it. You need know, brother had something. Yeah, <coughs> scripture say, uh, fear not him, you know, that is able to kill the body and not the soul, you know, and but but fear him that is uh, that is able to you know, uh, kill the body and cast the soul into hell. But uh, and basically, we again, like as you were just going into, we warn you from your how about some y'all shy about your how about some y'all shy, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, could you get Joel 2 and 1 and one and two real quick and just to back up that point on uh how basically you got clear instructions through that that trumpet that trumpet is just clear instructions on on what to do you got it bro yeah this is uh joel two and one it said blow ye the trumpet in zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashimah shall come it, for it is not at hand. Can, can you get that word real quick? Trumpet real quick in the uh the blue letter. Yeah, come in the blue letter, bro. And get the yeah. uh Jensenus uh the, the the um what is it, the lexicon definition? Okay, strong lexicon. Okay, okay it's um uh, Shaha Far, all right, Shaha Far, which is uh, uh, yeah, that one right there. Now you can right go down, yep, yep, okay. It says, um, uh, uh, it says, so, so called from its clear and sharp sound, either made of horn or else resembling the horn. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the point. Yeah, that's the point right yep. there. It's a it's a clear and sharp sound. It's straight it's, it's straight instructions. You know, mm -hmm. going into I mean, it, it is straight, direct, and it is straight to the point. You know, it's it's a it's fear you how about shy or be or be destroyed, man. I mean, it just is. It, it ain't no ain't no gray areas. It's it's straight black and white, man. It's straight to the point, man. You know. Oh. Yep, but that's basically it, bro. So. Yeah, we back, bro. It's a lot, bro. Yeah, yeah. If you want, if you want to get uh um, the second definite uh the second scripture. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to turn my damn phone up, man. This fucking charger. All right, uh, just get verse two, bro. Okay, come on. Yeah, I was trying to go back. Yeah, it threw me out the whole thing. It's a lot. Yeah. All right, this is uh, Joel. Um, pull, yes, pull, pull up. all right, he's back in Joel chapter two. All right, in verse two. It says a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of a thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people and a strong, there have not been ever the light, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. So, yeah, how about you know, this day just going to the point of that day of darkness and gloominess? Hey, this is where you how about you know, is bringing upon the planet, and then it's going to be it's not going to be a um, it's not going to be a sight. You know for the world to to basically um it's not gonna be a site for the world's comfort you know because the you have about shimmy 
he's he's again he, he's preparing the mind of the elect for for his return which is going to be that day of darkness and, and gloominess and all hell breaking loose because hey, this is this is what we're going to have this is what's going to be needed for us to get the hell up out of here you know this is what's going to be needed for esau's system to go down for his kingdom to fall you know and um and these people again what are you Amos 5 and 18, what are you to desire the day of the Lord? To what end is it for you? Hey, they, these people, they're, they're not prepared for this. Even though you got the trumpet being blown, we already know you have our small shot have blinded the eyes and ears of these people to where they don't they I mean they, they hear the sound, but they don't they don't they don't understand it, you know, it don't resonate with the spirit. Well, come on, bro, knock a head on. But it's Joel's second chapter when it speaks about that strong army or strong people is talking about those missiles, you know. So just as an, an invading army, you will see them, you know, far off and blow the trumpet. Well, we see, all right, those nukes on the way to America. We see it afar off through prophecy, you know. So we're blowing their trumpet. So this is, you know, this day of, of clouds and thick darkness, this is nuclear destruction okay that's that that's the that's the ultimate invading army because america is going to be invaded with icbm missiles man okay and that's you know one of the main things we speak on we speak about the destruction because hey that's you know like you know to a great people you know a strong army you know so this is this this is <laughs> Because by the, when when they um, when them cities hear about that destruction, all they're gonna do is what they're gonna do. They're gonna ring them whack ass uh, tornado warnings, man. They're gonna be over with. Yeah. The missiles yeah. gonna be on the way, and they're gonna send them, you know, them uh, uh, alerts to the phone. Okay, them tornado missiles gonna go off. It's gonna, it's, I mean, yeah, them uh, tornado sirens gonna go off, and y'all people gonna be finished, man. This is the time to hide yourself, okay? And you how about Shima was shot, <laughs> okay? Because if you de if you, if, if you depending on the uh, okay, an actual siren or a horn, you done, <laughs> you know. But you but you had some uh, you had some in the uh, yeah, yeah, I had some uh, uh, Ziga three and and uh, Ziga Seventeen, but I brought them. I want it in the NLT, bro. In the NLT, yeah, bro. I was watching uh, but the brother in South Carolina, he did a video, based on how Rush got these two missiles. Hey, one of them, one of them gonna gonna, gonna do this place bad. They said just one of them, and and uh and they was, they was like uh the, the other one, they gonna make it worse. I mean, and think about it, the Lord's really gonna 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 destroy them. Don't go, go, go fuck this place up. He, he, he used them two to be bad, but you know, it's gonna be so many to hit this place. So, like I say it's gonna be too late for them. Long, mm, oh, it's too late. Yeah, 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 yeah. You waiting on if that's your if that's your plan? Yeah, yeah you out. Of this is um, mm -mm, Ezekiel three and seventeen. We find the in the oh, here we go. Ezekiel 3 and 17 in the NLT says, Son of man, I have appointed you as a watchman for Israel. Whenever you receive a message from me, warn people immediately. Come. So you got one of them right then and out. All right. And really, Jim Mason only, only can't really warn the people about, about Jacob's trouble, uh, war, famine. We the only one, only one really doing it. I know other uh, another other camp ain't talking about ain't talking about this. They really ain't one of the people. Cause tell them, tell them it's gonna be okay. It's not it's not no Jacob's trouble, and they lying to the congregation, man. So they they gonna get hit with a, with a fucking ton of bricks, man. They gonna get punched right there in the motherfucking mouth. Oh, you ain't tell us about that. You're supposed to warn the people. They say warn them immediately. All right, go ahead, bro. You wanna keep going on it or what? Oh yeah yeah, keep going, bro. Okay, you want that in the, um in the LT too? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything in the LT. Yeah. All right. So this is uh Ezekiel three and eighteen in the LT. 
and says, if I warn the wicked saying you are under the penalty of death. Damn, and that's another point, like the penalty of death, like they, you know, um, playing these games with the MOTB and knowing what it is and what it ain't and all this madness. Okay. But we're telling you these things under the penalty of death. Yep. <laughs> you know, everything that we're telling you, like this, all these things, you know, that we're showing our people that's off. All these things are under the penalty of death. And it's to the point to where the, hey, the Lord, he just finished our issue, not their judgment, man. And it says, you are under the penalty of death, but you fail to um, deliver the warning. They will die in their sins, and I will hold you responsible for their deaths. See? If, oh, you got it, bro. And, 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 and the, other group, uh, the other groups, they, they, they're not one of the people. And we just said, I'm going I'm to I'm hold your responsibility responsible for their death all right nate the, the other the other people i read don't read on this too really don't give a damn about but but i know nate telling people the, the jacob trouble not coming and i get this more i'm doing the same thing but but the, the lord holding responsible responsible for, for for them uh for them uh for them souls go ahead bro tell them verse 19 says if thou warn them and they refuse to repent and keep on sinning they will die in their sins but you will have saved yourself because you obeyed me that come and and how we obeyed yahweh bashasha one of the people he told us since we know this knowledge we, we see what's going on we're holding everything we, 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 we're not holding the back we're telling you this is gonna happen this is gonna happen so we're telling you now the blood is off our hands but we all banish church and we obey so so we gonna be gonna be saved. Lord will be saved. That's all I got, bro. Come, bro. What do you have on my uh God. uh I just want to say that uh it's like uh when you go into what Matthew 11 chapter, man, you just have an ear, let them hear, you know, reaching out to our fellows, complaining to them, telling them, you know, that things that are wicked that they are doing, you know, they're gonna be destroyed for it if they don't repent. You know, just just telling about all the prophecies that's coming to pass. You know what I'm saying? All the horrific judgment that's going to come down on. But, you know, we pipe in the tomb at the scripture say, but they're not dancing, not lamenting. They're not listening. They don't care because they, they trust in Egypt and they really believe that things are going to get better. They have a, 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 a their hope is, is, is vain, man. You know, and, and the, the warning is steady going out. But I, but you know that that's why the Lord said two thirds of Israel shall be cut off and die because they just so far gone and they're so uh, uh, plugged into the matrix, man. And, and the the lust is is such a blanket over their spirit, man. They don't they just don't stand a chance, man. And when the prophets are going out there speaking to them, giving them warning, preaching and teaching out the Bible, they don't want to hear it. And that's why I want to go to uh, Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 13, verse 23. Well, well, went verse uh right, start at verse 22. What to the point of like verse 23? Verse 23 in the book of uh Come. Mm -hmm. All right, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 13, verse 23. When a rich man speaketh, every man hold his tongue, and look what he saith. They extol it to the clouds, but if the poor man speak right. Mm -hmm. So like I say, if they uplift them, you know, they 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 put them like as this esteemed person, they give them praises, you know, and they say hold their tongue, they don't uh uh give no lip. They sit there in silence and take it all in because that person to them is the person of importance, man. You know, but when the prophets are teaching the priest, you have all these different people to come up with their opinions instead of listening and try to get understanding, being combative, you know. 
scoffing because they look at us as a a, a person or people of no importance. They look at us as we're just some bugged out people on the highways and highways with Bibles teaching and preaching, and they stay yelling and screaming at folks. But is that all you understand? That, that, that's what they see. That's what they feel like they get. Instead of really just analyzing the situation and be like, it got to be something to this. It got to be more to this than meets the eye. Because it's deeper than just seeing men out there teaching and preaching, man. There needs to be understanding that these words that these men are teaching and preaching are words from on high, man. These are words that the Lord bestowed upon his men to put out there to the people, man. These are the words you have about Shimei al shot. But they just don't have that understanding to get that. You got it, bro. Okay. Um, finishing out. And it says, they have stolen to the clouds but if the poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? And if he stumbled, they will help to overthrow him. Right. And, and you see these uh, uh, niggas, they, they stay away from the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't know what they're talking about. You know, just any any kind of thing they can say about the Israelites that's going out there on the highways and byways doing videos, regardless of what group they actually directed it at, they, they, they don't want to accept that this is a, 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 a spiritual thing, man. You know, they don't want to, they don't, first, and they don't want to accept uh, uh, accountability, man. They don't want to repent. They want to continue to live this westernized way of living, man. Where adultery is, is it's cool. Celebrating these pagan holidays is cool. You know, having these alphabet transformers around here is accepted. This is the society they they want to continue to live in. But the prophets are telling them this is this is a no go, man. This is against the will of Hashem Yahshua. All this filth. All this wickedness, all this rebelliousness, it's all finna be judged, man. Because the Lord is tired of seeing wickedness continue to, to just be exalted in this society, man. And again, just like in the days of Noah, man, the prophets out there prophesying, it's gonna come a day when the Lord is gonna, as he did Noah, shut the ark. He's gonna take up all the highways and byways in the day and go shut that spiritual ark, man. And he's really going to let this devil come down to the great wrath. And the Lord is really going to start letting judgment just hammer these people, man. And then they're going to be looking for the prophets. Then they're going to be wanting some masters. But you have a chance now. The, prom the, the, the trumpets are still being blown. That's all I got, bro. Come on, bro. Uh, I guess we can end on Amos 3 and 6. Oh, let me grab it real quick and bring everything home, you know. So we're in the point now, you know, where the Lord is allowing. And see, when the Lord allows the devil, you know, to, uh, you know, remove the word, okay, that's going to be the end of the trumpet. That's going to be the end of the blowing of the trumpet. And there's going to be judgment outside, you know. So. We're close to that time, man. You know, we see these devils got certain laws and, you know, all this different propaganda and psyops with, you know, so-called people, you know, people so-called going to jail, you know, in the UK for, you know, social media posts. And ultimately, we know he's slithering his, slithering his way towards the prophets, okay? And when the Lord allowed mm -hmm. that to happen, that's going to be the end of the trumpet and that's going to be the end of the warning. Okay, so let's go to Amos 3 and 6. It says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord not have done it? Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto the servants, the prophets. Okay, so when we go into, when the Lord reveals things to us, you know, as we're constantly watching and researching and reading the scriptures, you know, when the Lord is constantly revealing the secrets unto us, you know, we come and blow their trumpet and warn, you know, based on the information the Spirit gives us, man, okay, 
but your your you people's reaction that's on you you know whether you take heed and get under the shelter of your how about shima or shy you know or you ignore the warning and do your thing you know and why scripture say the simple pass on and are punished okay so uh that's the point you know well, y'all brother had any closing statements y'all want to go into yeah, can I say real quick? I was watching this episode, uh, this seasonal called Preacher, and it, um, yeah, 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 it was saying, um, I think on the first episode, it was like after the warning, then the lesson come, you know. So, so, shit. Yeah. damn, hey, hey, how about Shamel Shy? He got the warning out there, but guess what? He finna teach, he finna teach his people a lesson, man, you know. Yep, and it's gonna, it's gonna be what oh. death by pain, you know. So yeah, um, the point being made, <clears throat> you know, and then memorial the blowing of the trumpets on I and this start now, you know. I think sun got the sunset about seven twenty five, something like that. Now, you know, so yeah, we're going into you know these spiritual times, you know, uh, we're gonna be covered, you know, like what we're doing. We just have to endure, you know. We just have to maintain the faith, you know, fight these daily battles. You know, continue to make the adjustments, you know, love on each other, man, in the spirit, you know, whether in, 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 in exhortation, rebuke, or charity, you know, it's all love, you know. So, Lord, will, you know, you brothers, all right, and you sisters edified to the next time we say Shalom, all right, and we'll give all praises to Yahweh. To the apostles and the elders from GMS, rule well, teach well, being great examples to us, younger brothers. All right, hey, shalom. Shalom. Shalom.